ask you a little bit about what you've seen from uh, Jeremy McNichol, that really productive running back mm -hmm. over at Boise State. What, what, what's his style like? How do you? Uh, well, you're seeing they use him in a variety of different ways. I think he caught 40 balls last year. You know, had some uh, production out of here uh, uh, a week ago as well. Um, he makes our running game, uh, uh, you know, pretty special. He can run through tackles. He also has the speed to run away from you, um, which he has done several times. As you watch the film uh, uh, from a year ago, he gets the tough yards. Uh, he understands, you know, kind of the, uh, you know, the, the blocking schemes that uh, they use in, in some of their bigger personnel groups. Um, so uh, certainly a, a good back, and like I said, they use him in multiple ways. And, and then that wide receiver spur back. Well, what sets him apart? Uh, as you look at him, they, you know, another receiver that, that uh, you know, they move around. Uh, so you're not going to get a great beat in terms of where he's going to line up on uh, a given play. You know, they've even aligned him as a, you know, a wildcat style quarterback. Um, a lot of their passing game goes through him or near him. If it's not going through, uh, or excuse me, into his hands, uh, they're at least thrown to his side of the field. Um, he certainly is not their, their only quality uh, wide receiver, but uh, uh, again, he, he's a guy that uh, uh, goes up and gets it um, and uh, has a lot more speed than uh, I like him to. Derek Moore, a young player who, who did get on the field for you, uh, what, what's made it so that he's uh, ready to contribute early? Well, I, I think he's a guy that, uh, you know, part of it's, uh, you know, uh, depth, uh, you know, and in particular, you know, when it comes to redshirting a guy versus, uh, uh, you know, playing as a freshman, part of it's whether they're ready, and then uh, part of it, there, there's sometimes a need for some of those guys, uh, kind of ready or not, here we go type of thing. And uh, uh, there's a little bit of need at the defensive end spot, but he's also shown well, kind of plays bigger than his frame right now. He's going to be big. Um, he, he's uh, got uh, you know, good lateral quickness, he has good speed, um, and he's a guy that, uh, uh, again, we're awfully excited about. And, and like, you know, you, you'd rather redshirt everybody, um, but uh, you know, he's put himself in a position to get in the depth, and so we'll, he'll continue to get work as we go. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Coach, how do you replicate the play from like Brett Ripley and with your scout guys you're working with? Right? Well, it, it's difficult. I mean, and, and that's, uh, you know, you, you talk about a guy that has complete understanding of his offense. And, and, we, and we have a good, uh, pretty good quarterback crew in terms of, uh, uh, you know, what, what they're able to do to, to make some tough throws, to, to keep us honest and, and give us good work. But uh, um, again, what you see on film with him is he, he makes uh, um, both the, the deep, intermediate, and he can get the ball out quick in some of their. Uh, uh, run pass option stuff, so uh, good, good player. Um, you said on Sunday you thought the DBs probably had one of the worst days yeah. on last Saturday. Have you seen what have you seen change since then? Well, the big thing is just uh, you know uh, the, the mindset every every single snap you play to make, and it's not something that's that's new in terms of talking about it. Um, but uh, you know we can't have any lapses that way. And then I think what the, the guys found out is that uh, it takes you know, one snap to uh, put yourself in a bad spot. You're not thinking right, so uh, continue to work that way. Thank you.